in the series of admixture for concrete and its type like chemical admixture, mineral admixture. Now I would like to request Dr. K. Mohan sir to tell us about air entrainers and air entraining admixture, mechanism of air entrainers, factor affecting about the air entraining agent, effect of air entrainment on property of concrete. Very good topics, Mr. Singh. First, I will talk about air entrainers. Air entrainers or air entraining admixtures incorporate a controlled amount of air in the form of millions of minute non coalescing, that is, non combining bubbles distributed throughout the body of the. These air bubbles act as flexible ball bearings and modify the properties of plastic concrete like workability, segregation, bleeding, easier placing and finishing, and properties of hardened concrete, like resistance to frost action, that is, freeze thaw cycle, durability, and variability. In the air entrained concrete, the air bubbles provide space to relieve the pressure of expanding ice, as has been shown in the figure. Air entraining agents are anionic surface surfactants which are adsorbed onto the cement particles forming a sheet of limited solubility a weak surfactant solution forms bubbles on agitation which is stabilized as microscopic spheres the air wires present in concrete are classified as entrained air and entrapped air Intra entrained air is intentional, intentionally incorporated minute spherical air bubbles of size ranging from 5 micron to 80 micron distributed evenly in the entire mass of concrete. Entrapped air is the wires present in the concrete due to insufficient compaction. These entrapped air wires are not informally distributed throughout the concrete mass and they may be of any shape and size. Entrapped air wire size may vary from 10 to 1000 microns, microns or more. Now, air entraining agents. They are natural wood resins, animal and vegetable fats and oils such as olive oil, olic acid, stearic acid, wetting agents such as alkali salts or sulfated and sulfonated organic compounds, water soluble soaps of resin acids. Miscellaneous materials such as sodium salt of petroleum, sulfonic acid, hydrogen peroxide, and ammonium powder. Now, let us examine what are the factors which are affecting amount of air entry. The type and quantity of air entraining agents used. Number two, water cement ratio of the mix. Then, next, type and grading of aggregate. Then, mixing type, temperature type of cement, influence of compaction, admixture other than air entraining agents used. Different air entraining agents produce different amounts of air entraining. Depending upon the elasticity of the film or the bubble produced and the extent to which the surface tension is reduced. Similarly, different quantity of air entraining agents will result in different amounts of air entraining. Water cement ratio is one of the important factors affecting the quantity of air. At very low water cement ratio, water films developed on the cement grains will be insufficient to produce adequate foaming action. At intermediate water cement ratio, that is between 0.4 to 0.6, abundant air bubbles will be produced. At higher water cement ratio, although initially a large quantity of air entrainment is achieved, however, a large proportion of the bubble is lost progressively with time. The grading of aggregate has significant influence on the quantity of air entrainment. The higher quantity of sand fraction of 300 microns and 150 microns result in more air entrainment. The amount of air entrainment is found to increase with the mixing time up to a certain limit and therefore with prolonged mixing the air entrainment gets reduced. The amount of air entrainment 
increases as the temperature of concrete increases. The constituents of cement, especially the alkali content, plays an important part in the entrainment of air in concrete. Similarly, fineness of cement is also affected. Air content is also reduced by the process of compaction on account of movement of air bubbles to the surface and their subsequent destruction. It is estimated that as much as 50% of the entrapped air may be lost after vibration for two and a half minutes and as much as 80% may be lost after vibration for nine minutes. The other admixture used in conjunction with air entraining agents will also significantly affect the amount of air entrained. The use of fly ash in concrete will reduce the amount of air entrained. Similarly, the use of calcium chloride also has the tendency to reduce air entrained. Now, I will discuss effects of air entrainment on the property of concrete. It leads to Increased resistance to freezing and time. Improvement in workability, reduction in strength, reduction in segregation, bleeding and latent permeability, sand, water and cement content, heat of hydration, unit weight, alkali aggregate reaction, and modulus of electricity. Increased resistance to chemical attack, increased Placeability and early finishing. The greatest advantage of advantage derived from the use of air entrained concrete is the high resistance of hardened concrete to scaling due to freezing and time. In air entrained concrete, the air bubbles provide space to relieve the pressure of expanding ice. The entrainment of air in fresh concrete by means of air entraining agent improves workability. The bubbles act like flexible ball bearings to help. Increase the mobility of concrete by reducing friction between the particles and thereby increase the workability at a given water cement ratio. The decrease in compressive strength is usually proportional to the amount of entrained air. For each 1% increase in air content, the compressive strength reduces approximately 1.5 MPa. Segregation, bleeding, and latents are reduced greatly by air entrain. The, these reductions are probably due to the incorporation of the system of air bubbles. Greater uniformity of air entrained concrete due to enhanced air content, modified pore structure, reduced water channels due to reduction in bleeding, reduction in water cement ratio are some of the reasons for improvement in permit. The minute, minute spherical air bubbles act like fine aggregate and enable the reduction of sand. The reduction of fine aggregate further enables the reduction of water requirement without impairing the workability and slump. It is possible to reduce cement content for the given strength in lean concrete mixes. The reduction in some cement content results in lower heat of hydrogen mass concrete. For the same workability and strength, the air entrained concrete contains approximately 5% less solid material and hence has lower density and lower unit weight. Air entrainment reduces the alkali aggregate reaction. The modulus of elasticity of concrete mix having the same water cement ratio and the same aggregate is reduced by 2 to 3% for each 1% of air entrainment. In view of the lower permeability and absorption, the air entrained concrete has greater resistance to chemical attack than thermal. In view of improved workability due to air entrainment, the flexibility and early finishing of concrete is